Intense competition emerges as over 30 candidates vie for nine parliamentary seats. In a fervent political landscape, the race for nine National Assembly seats has intensified as more than 30 candidates throw their hats into the ring. The seats, which became vacant after the recalls initiated by the self-imposed CCC Citizens Coalition for Change Secretary General Senjizo Chibangu, have attracted a diverse array of hopefuls in Bulawayo. Matabililand North, Harare, and Matabililand South Provinces. As the nation eagerly awaits the by-elections on December 9, political tensions are running high, and the outcome of these contests is expected to reshape the political landscape of Zimbabwe. Shibangu set off a whirlwind of chaos within the opposition party when he recalled 15 legislators, including nine National Assembly seat holders and others elected through a quota system. Asserting that these individuals had ceased to be members of their party, Chibangu's actions further deepened the political divide. The CCC's audacious move not only triggered the by-elections but also set the stage for a fierce battle between the ruling ZANU-PF party and the opposition. Yesterday, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZC oversaw the nomination court proceedings in the areas where the vacant seats were announced. Candidates jostled to file their nomination papers symbolizing their determination to secure a place in the National Assembly. The nomination court, which commenced at 10 a.m. and concluded at 4 p.m., witnessed a flurry of activity as aspiring legislators sought to meet the requirements and formalities necessary to participate in the upcoming by-elections. In Bulawayo, the nomination court witnessed both triumph and disappointment. CC presiding officer Mrs. Mavis Mutawiku revealed that out of the 23 candidates who filed their papers, only 18 were successful. Four candidates failed to raise the required 1,000 US dollars for contesting, while another was disqualified due to incomplete documentation. Among the recalled legislators in Bulawayo were prominent figures such as Mr. Pasha Sabanda Cowdery Park, Ms. Nicola Watson Bulawayo South, Mr. Erek Gono Lobengula Magweg, Obert Mandunankita, and Desmond Makazam Papomam Silikatsi. Similar scenes unfolded in Matabili Land South and Matabili Land North, where candidates passionately submitted their nomination papers. Mr. Rabson Nioni, the nomination officer in Matabili Land South, announced that five candidates successfully filed their papers for the Bight Bridge West seat following the recall of Mr. Morgan Dubey. Meanwhile, in Matabili Land North, Mr. Richard Sabanda, the nomination officer, confirmed that six candidates submitted their nomination papers at the Lepain Magistrate Courts. The recalls of Mr. Prince Dubico Sabanda Binga North and Bright Moyo Vania Lepain East paved the way for fresh contenders. Notably, the nomination court process revealed the depth of interest in local council seats as well. With eight vacancies in Bulawayo's council, Numerous aspiring candidates eagerly submitted their nomination papers, adding an intriguing dimension to the electoral landscape. Meanwhile, in Harare, the nomination court convened at the Rotten Row Magistrates Court, receiving nomination papers from C.D. Pedzisai Scott Sakapwanya Zanu P.F. and Mr. Munirazi Kufahakatizwi of the CCC, both eyeing the Mabvukatafra constituency. The by-elections also extend beyond the National Assembly to the local level. In Masvingo City Council, four candidates have emerged to vie for the vacant Ward 2 seat, which was previously held by Councillor Chantel Chawara, who had also served as the city's mayor. The candidates, representing ZANU-PF and the CCC, have successfully filed their papers at the Masvingo City Council offices. Setting the stage for a spirited contest, Speaking to journalists on the sidelines of the nomination court in Bulawayo, Mr. Atloil Salaiguana, the chief elections officer of ZC, emphasized that the proceedings adhere to the law across the country. Recognizing the significance of timely and transparent processes, Salaiguana highlighted that ZC meticulously recorded the exact time when candidates filed their papers to avoid any accusations of accepting late submissions. With the nomination court now closed, the campaign period officially commences, 
and ZC is prepared to initiate voter education programs. Assured of sufficient funding for the elections, Salaguana expressed confidence in the government's commitment to supporting the electoral process. He emphasized that the nomination court's conclusion marked a crucial milestone, signifying the certainty of holding the by-elections. Salaiguana also addressed concerns regarding the integrity of the electoral management body, assuring the public that the process had been conducted meticulously and in accordance with the law. As the by-election campaigns kick into high gear, the political landscape of Zimbabwe is set to witness a fierce battle for these coveted parliamentary seats, with over 30 candidates vying for the nine National Assembly seats. The diversity of voices and perspectives promises an engaging electoral contest. The recalls initiated by the CCC have injected a sense of urgency and anticipation into the political arena with both the ruling party and the opposition striving to secure victory. Beyond the numbers and political affiliations, these by-elections represent an opportunity for the electorate to evaluate the performance and credibility of their prospective representatives. As candidates traverse their constituencies, engaging with voters and presenting their manifestos, the electorate will be carefully weighing their options. The outcomes of these by-elections will not only shape the composition of the National Assembly but also set the stage for future political dynamics and policy decisions. In the coming weeks, campaign trails will witness passionate rallies, rigorous debates, and grassroots mobilization efforts. The candidates will strive to capture the attention and support of the constituents, highlighting their visions for development, governance, and addressing the pressing issues facing their respective constituencies. The electorate, on their part, will scrutinize the candidates' track records, their commitment to public service, and their ability to deliver on their promises. While the focus primarily remains on the parliamentary seats, the local council contests should not be overlooked. The enthusiasm displayed by aspiring councillors underscores the significance of local governance and the desire for effective representation at the grassroots level. As aspiring councillors vie for these positions, they will put forward their plans to address the unique needs of their communities, aiming to win the trust and confidence of the voters. As the nation eagerly awaits the by-elections on December 9, it is essential to remember that the democratic process goes beyond the casting of votes. Voter education programs, civic engagement initiatives, an open dialogue between candidates and constituents will foster a vibrant and informed democracy. The collective responsibility lies not only with the candidates, but also with the electorate to actively participate in shaping the future of their communities and the nation as a whole. The upcoming by-elections in Zimbabwe are poised to be a significant turning point in the country's political landscape. With a plethora of candidates vying for the vacant parliamentary seats, the competition is fierce, and the stakes are high. As the campaign season unfolds, it is an opportune time for citizens to engage, evaluate, and make informed choices. The decisions made at the ballot box will not only determine the composition of the National Assembly but will also shape the direction and priorities of the nation.